This lush garden is in an unusual location. The cassava plants, vegetables and fruit trees are all growing in the desert. These are almonds. They are important because they attract birds and bees. Fifteen years ago, you could only find sand here. It's all the work of Goran Diai. Self-taught, he's become a pioneer in sustainable farming in Africa. Yes, it was all desert before. There wasn't a single tree here. Everything was dry. This was even a soccer field for the village kids. After finding water four meters below the ground, Goran Diai bought this land for the price of a loaf of bread and set about making it fertile again. There was nothing here. So the first thing that had to be done was to restore the ground's fertility, to create a first level of vegetation with trees. The garden started with a single coconut tree. In the beginning, many locals were skeptical. I know they thought I was crazy. All they saw was an abandoned desert. But this abandoned land is some of the best and most productive in the area. They would tell me it was a miracle. There's no miracle here. We simply wanted change and believed in it. Goran Diai is the first person in Senegal to adopt permaculture, a gardening technique that uses different plants to create multiple mini-ecosystems. Trees, for example, can help other plants grow better by retaining the surrounding humidity. Under the papaya trees, we had turnips growing, which I've already harvested and sold. Over there, I grew lettuce. There, I'm growing onions under the papayas. There's multi-level cultivation happening here. All of this without resorting to chemical pesticides. Another advantage is that harvests happen throughout the year. Goran Diai's students are eager to learn from him. This coconut tree provides an ideal microclimate for mint. I think this works magnificently. Goran Diai hopes to move Senegal away from its traditional farming practices. He believes that peanuts, rice and millet are responsible for keeping Senegalese farmers in poverty and says farmers growing these crops worsen desertification by cutting down trees. To help his cause, he's also transformed his farm into a school. Thank God I have a relief force to protect my work. This is the field team. Each year, around 20 students are taught how to work in sustainable farming. Mohamed Ben Bekrama is a former student of the Kaidara school, who now has his own farm. After my training, I didn't have any land. Kaidara helped me get this. I now want to prove that you can live on a hectare of land with dignity. Five students have been given land, a hectare after their training to get them started. This one, it's good. Mohamed had for years tried unsuccessfully to reach Europe. He eventually returned to Senegal and started this training program. Three years on, the young farmer can harvest his vegetables and continue developing his farm. Now I can live off my land. I help my mother with what I earn here. Ever since I returned to Kadara, my life has changed completely. <laughs> Around 40 of Goran's former students have moved to different regions in the country. Proof that another way of farming in Senegal that respects the environment is possible. <laughs>